answer your phone. Um, I was actually on a webinar last night with Ryan McKinney, him and Stukes were doing some uh, mentoring for uh, uh, selling offline client stuff, and Ryan's done well this year. But last year at this time, and he doesn't mind me telling the story or whatnot, he was actually, he'd send stuff out, and then he got a phone call, and he was scared to death to answer his phone. When it was one year, he went from scared to answer his phone to this guy's closing six-figure deals left and right. Uh, when people call you, be honest with them and don't be worried about screwing up a phone call. Uh, here's what happens. The phone rings, and then the company is used to expecting slick salespeople. If you show up on that phone call and just be honest, hey, my name's Adam, what can I do for you? And then you walk them through it. Basically, if something comes up and you start stuttering, just acknowledge it. Like, I'm sorry, I'm nervous. I do this online most of the time. I'm just getting started working with offline companies, so I'm not used to this part of the process. And be honest with these people. They'll take, they'll take your word for it, and they'll put their defenses down because they're used to having their defenses up because they're getting sold to, sold to, sold to, sold to, sold to. So just take it easy. A lot of people, and I've been teaching this to a few people here and on and off for the last six months, is they're scared to death when the phone rings that to answer it because it's a live call. They're put on the spot. Don't answer it. Let it go to voicemail. You can send these out and just let it go to voicemail. You gotta call back the next day. But your voicemail is, "Hey, this is Adam from Marketing Fusion Incorporated. Uh, we're I'm busy right now on the phone with another client. If you can leave your name, number, and a short message, somebody from my team will get back to you as soon as possible." You don't have to take the call live and be put on the spot. They can let you let them leave a message. Then you can pull up their website. You can figure out who they are. Go back to your mailers, and you'll be able to match them up. So then, when you call them back, you're gonna have information in front of you. So they're not calling you. Then you're trying to pull stuff up on the fly. But you get nervous. Let it go to voicemail. Call them back in 24 hours, but let it go to voicemail. Does that make sense? Because I know people when they answer the phone, they get put on the spot a lot. And that's what people are scared of. Let it go to voicemail. Just let it go. Talk to them tomorrow, but call them. Yeah, that's a big thing. We're assisting other clients at this time. You don't want to say, hey, this is Adam. Thanks for calling, but uh, I didn't pick up the phone. Let me know what you want. I'll call you back. No. Your business, be professional. Does that make sense? Does this method, from what you got here, and we're going to give you the direct mail piece in a minute. From what you guys seen here, do you guys think you can actually do this and use this to get a client? You could set up a Google phone number, yeah. I mean, there's 10,000 different ways to go with this. But is this, as, is this about as simple as possible? Jill says it's easy. Bullshit. Yeah. Pat says it's very simple. All right, we're going to get to building mobile sites here. I think I have another slide. I don't even know what it is. Um, once the sale's been made, all that's left is creating the sites. And if you're like me, I said, how many people here can create a killer-looking mobile website quickly or cheaply? I really couldn't. It was a pain in the ass, and I paid people. Uh, I needed a better solution, and I needed it now. I'm one of those people that if there's not something out there that works, that what I need done, I'll just go out and have it created. Um, where on the phone? Sorry. I'm going to hand this over to Lee. Um, we, this, you guys are one of the first people to see this, and the people we have shown it to, uh, people like Chris who put you guys on this call tonight, and other people. I mean, everybody's blown away with this, and we think we've created the killer mobile website builder and all that stuff. But before I stick off or jump off here and let Lee take over, do you guys have any quick questions about this direct mail piece? So I want to make sure from this point forward, you guys have everything you need to know to go out and do this on Monday morning. Have these in the mail. So if you're not making sales by a week from Monday, this is your fault. Right now, I put so much stuff in your brain right now that's very easy that if a week from Monday you're not making sales or have clients, it's nobody's fault but yourself. Do you write anything special on the front of the envelope? Nope, just a handwritten address. They're going to open it. So the letter dog bill are the only things going to envelope. Um, I have more advanced techniques, but there's just not enough time to get into that. Um, I'll talk about that in the Q&A, though. So, Lee, I'm going to make you the presenter. Cool. And you can do your thing because I got...